Hey everybody, welcome back to Control. We've got something going on in this shelter. We can't get through there right now, but perhaps at some point we'll be able to. Um, there's a few things going on in this area that we need to check out as we head to the communications department. We cleared out a bunch of enemies, which may let us get back into that area that was blocked off previously. Ooh. Okay, so there's communications department, but before we head that way, let's see what other trouble we can get into. Hello. Undefined reading again. We're a bit low on health, so we're going to have to be very careful when we run into our next batch of guys. Unstable area notice. Due to recent fluctuations in the nearest control point, this area's stability has been downgraded to yellow. So green is stable, yellow, low possibility of unanticipated building shifts, orange, high likelihood of unanticipated building shifts, red, frequent unanticipated building shifts. And they've used this foam to secure some of these areas. I'm not sure. Can we get up here like so? There's definitely something up there, but maybe we can only access it if there's a, a shift of some kind. Oh, wow. Never mind. Energy Renewal Weapon Mod. Okay. Energy gain from headshots, straight up 10%. Yeah. Let's do that. That's versus the uh, ammo cost. Okay. And I'm thinking maybe based on the health that we have right now. Health recovery on element pickup. Let's maybe switch to extra 20% of those. Okay, so this is still blocked, so we're going to head into uh, communications as instructed. Dead letters? Man, that's so cool. So this is the area that's blocked, so we have to go through dead letters. Great. Well, that scared me. <laughs> I'd be stoked if we could find a flashlight or something at some point. Machine God? I had a dream, and I built the thing I saw in my dream. A machine that will contain God, but not the God you know, or the ones anyone knows. A new God. This machine will be his body, his heart, and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. I used the motor from the refrigerator, and the coils from my toaster, and the fans, plus the timing belt from my car's engine, and the wheels from my son's skateboard. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address in the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Dead letters. Yeah, I need to find more of these, that's for sure. Another house memory. It's just so dark, man. Singing fish. Oh, I can't, I'll read all of these. I called the police, but they never come to my house. I got a problem, and you got to send folk to fix it. I got my wife one of them singing fish on the walls. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. 
flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of the fish, and you gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? Dwayne Barr. Trench dead letter approval. What does this mean? Greetings, Director Trench. This is from somebody to him. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the Archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters come to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. Realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, obviously, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters. Oh, cool. So that explains why this is, um, why this section exists. What was that? Ooh, hello. That's going to be a problem, let me tell you that. Whoa. Oh, man. That could have been the end right there. Nice. This constant, uh, like, droning is so uncomfortable. It's unsettling. But at the same time, I feel like if it just disappeared right now, I might want it back. Whoa. Come on! Oh boy. Control point. Of course, we have full health. But I'll take it. Navigate the comms department. So that connected these two sections. Cleanse control panes to gain fast travel sites to the oldest house. Yep, got it. It's also... Let's open these up now. Book club. The Bureau Book... I'm guessing this is Bunch, or maybe they call it... That's their name. The Bureau Book Bunch will convene at the usual spot in the corner table of the cafeteria at 5 p.m. on Tuesday. Currently discussing Unless You by J.D. Brooks. Everyone should get their reviews to be by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Penny Bartwell. Look at you, Penny. Look at you. Stepping to the end, 
What the hell? Oh, the Threshold Kids. Jesus. Please, Jesus. Yeah, I'm, you know what? I'm cool with like not watching that back. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in here and like click it. Uh, we're good. We're good. Thanks. That's um, it's a hard pass for me. dead presidents. I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. Oh, this... Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Uh, they appear as spirit guides giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand them. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed up or showed me how to fix my lawnmower. I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. I have a great dead... I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. James Bartholomew. I'm impressed, actually, with the letters that these guys are getting. Pretty solid. All right. Communications. So this right track. is where we need to go. Introduction to paranatural Just topics. Here. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. <laughs> <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. Uh, this is not the disc, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Oh, OP. Oops. Oh, they can launch <laughs> Oops, things telekinetically yeah. through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe three dozen pencils. And once, we even launched a cup. I gotta say, like, I love the way that they're telling these stories. It's, it's, there's quite a lot of, uh, variety between written articles and these things that we see. It's, re this is really good. How does one... Weird. Whoa. What the? F Whoa. Oh, 
<laughs> That's so creepy. What? Book Club Samson. Book Club Notes for Penny by L. Samson. So I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, but as far as space operas go, this was all right. The title, unless you, could refer to a bunch of things in the book, I guess. But I thought it was a little vague and stupid. The way the characters kept throwing it around almost like a catchphrase got real annoying real fast. Best part of the story was the space battles. I sided with the fixers, obviously, because they had the coolest tech and their motives made the most sense to me. Honestly, if I had to choose between some hoity-toity flowers and guns space hippies or a badass bunch of warriors to go around devouring planets like cheap sushi on a Sunday, I know who I'm picking. That scene where they invade City Planet and convert the entire population using those brain worms? And that space dog fight between those two ace pilots? Sign me the fuck up. What kind of ruined the whole thing? For me was when my favorite character got killed not even halfway through the story by getting a battery cylinder launched into his face by a gravitational anomaly his death didn't feel necessary at all a two out of five okay cool we're gonna get uh some insights into that book that they're reading personal mod for energy oh yeah well that could be cool energy recovery speed now wait so we have two of these I'm guessing they they would stack if we had the space, but we still don't know how we're going to spend these things. Um, so we'll see, I guess. What do we pick up in here? Oh, the uh, objects of power. Okay, cool. I'm going to see if this... <laughs> Okay, it's just a full block. But it doesn't hurt us. An object of power. Like Whoa! We need to cleanse it. Reach the object of power to cleanse it. Right. Yeah, no problem. I wonder if, uh... Can I push this? No. So there's like a three shot burst, it seems. So we're gonna have to make go here. Uh, wish me luck. Temporary, temporary cover. Good to know. So you're telling me that I'm just going to run into that thing? Sure. The floppy disk. can be bound to gain launch telekinesis. Teach us to believe. It's harder to hear you when I'm here. It's like the channel's been changed. The board's in charge here. They're pyramids in the bureau seal. 
Are they really the ones pulling the strings? Whoa. I'm not their director. I'm no one's director. Use launch to complete the astral plane challenge. Hold E to grab highlighted op uh, objects and then release E to launch. Oh my God. Oh, it's like, and almost anything. All this rubble can be grabbed too. So there's our energy bar at the top filling. So that must be separate then. Launch align the thingamajig into the whole slot to advance. If this is how they introduce us to using new abilities, I am completely down. Destroy the copies, fakes, made up. Well, that's not going to be good. Oh, nice. Using that and moving is a bit weird. We're super accurate. I'm never going to shoot anything again. The hiss noise is burning into our astral plane's secret base. You must stop, mute them. What's weird about the board talking to us is it's always giving us multiple possible meanings of what it's saying. And I guess that maybe that's maybe that's us making an inference, like we're making our best guess because we don't fully understand it. There you are. You were gone. Cut off. I got it. Just like you were. Particularly effective against shields. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh no. Anything here? There we go. Awesome. Yeah, I might have to like, I might have to mess around a little bit with the uh, the control scheme, only because moving while holding E is a bit funky.
What the? Where did it go? Oh, I see. Demolitions expert. Okay, see, now that's open. Awesome. Okay, so the Bureau only allows uh, certain highly trained individuals to handle volatile materials and weaponry. Our demolition experts are instructed in the use of explosives and dimensions with distinct physical laws, making them important assets for engineering work as well as combat situations. His demolition experts are the only observed his variations to wield the specially built rocket propelled grenade that is designed to identify and track redacted entities once fired making them a threat whose termination should be prioritized in combat scenarios i find it remarkable that the hiss restrict usage of this weapon to the bureau personnel who train specifically for its use what does this tell us about its behavior can it not pass along new information to corrupted entities still too many unknowns i love how in each of these it kind of tells us what they know but then there's some outstanding questions as well uh, these are all written by emily pope the ranger uh are the Bureau's well-trained and well-armed expeditionary forces. Their his corrupted counterparts are equally formidable. Prior to corruption, Rangers were trained to use a variety of weapons in order to face any threat found during AWE response or threshold exploration, including submachine guns, assault rifles, and automatic shotguns. His Rangers utilize these weapons as well as the advanced tactics taught by Bureau instructors. Some are additionally outfitted with Bureau-made body armor. His Rangers have no observed paranatural abilities beyond some being protected by a shielding of dense Hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Considering the advanced training the Hiss Rangers are capable of applying to this their situation, is it feasible to consider the human mind still remains intact to some degree? Or is the Hiss able to tap into this combat training and utilize it? Further observations required. As with everything. Um, so it looks like, nice thing is, these don't disappear. So if we have, like, a little, uh, health pool over there, we can come back and get those later. Oh, we're Emily just... Emily said that the hotline can be reached through the mail room. Causing a complete disaster. <laughs> What is that? Shatter projectile? Choke? So that's got to be like a... Um, I think if we looked at that other enemy type. Uh, okay, we'll read about this in a second. Uh, not correspondence. Research and records... This agent barrier guard, maybe? Armored guards carry pump action shotguns. Okay, I'm guessing that that is kind of like a shotgun styled add on for something we don't have yet. This floppy disk. Okay, so this is a uh, containment procedure, must be contained in a cell with no other loose material. Object is an eight inch diskette containing Soviet era nuclear launch codes. When bound, the objects allows para-utilitarians to telekinetically lift material and throw it a short distance. See Dr. Darling presentation 1115 for more information. Objects currently bound to Redacted for research purposes. Stolen from a Soviet military base located in Redacted by agents Redacted and Redacted with the CIA. The diskette contained launch codes to Redacted missiles believed to be reserved for use against Redacted. After being returned to America, the diskette began throwing computational hardware at the members of the decoding team. An informant in the CIA tipped the bureau off and it was requisitioned by agents the next day. Mailroom, cafeteria, central executive. Whoa, Jesus! Oh, 
Oh, I love that it can hit both, too. Oh, that's it, feels really good. What the? What was, did you hear that? Baby, baby, yeah? Is that a Justin Bieber reference? Of course I know it. Finally! Cool. This must open the door. Uh, so now... I wonder, with clearance level, does that get us into any of these other things? Clearance level one. Hmm. I wonder what these materials are. Oh, we have a control point. Sick. Hello. Okay. I'll tell you what, guys. We're going to take a break here. Um, we're going to head... I'm going to check this other side, likely. But uh, then we're going to head right in through here now that we have clearance. And there's a couple of areas which I imagine... You know, if we fast travel, we're going to miss a lot. Because... Part of this is going to be going through and unlocking clearance doors that we now have access to. So in some of the backtracking, uh, what's cool is it seems like there'll be stuff to still explore as we're backtracking and seeing some of those locked doors. So we'll, we'll do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.